Hi. Hey, how's it going? Great. How are you? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Life's a little crazy. I know. It is crazy. I know. How's, how's our world out there? Gosh, I feel yeah. like it's been forever since we've connected with anybody. Um, as cool. the rest of the world's just the same, right? Yeah. It's bizarre. Let's be realistic. It's like it's bizarre, but do you find that you're getting things done that you haven't had time to do in the past for us five years? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's crazy. I feel, yeah. like, but I also feel like time is going really fast, but really slow. If that makes sense. Like the days are going really fast, but the whole time frame right. is going slow. But when you think about it, we've been doing this for a month. I know. It's and good. like, I feel like a lot has happened in a month, yeah. but you're right. It's like a lot has happened in a month, but nothing's happened at the same yeah. time. Right. right. I said to Brian last night, I was like, it's really interesting seeing like the science behind some of what they're doing, which when, you know, like when a vaccine comes out or when some new disease comes out, like we're never behind the scenes of it. And I feel like we're getting this like weird inside view of a whole different perspective on, you know, behind you know, what happens in the scientific world behind diseases and stuff. And I, I find that kind of fascinating and cool. This is such a terrible thing that we're dealing with, but like to be, right see it from a different perspective of how things take place and how quickly things can come together and if everybody works together and da 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 but it's just yeah. been interesting. It's been, I'm trying to find the positives in everything and sometimes that's hard, obviously, but, you know, trying to find these positive spins on the weird and time that we're living in. Right. I know. It's, I feel like we're going to look back and it's going to be like one of those things that a lot of good came out of it as much as it's like really scary and, and heartbreaking for people who are like, you know, facing a lot of challenges, not working, yeah. getting sick, you know, Great. You know not being able to pay bills. I know gut wrenching is when I see the videos, um, you know, where people are waiting in the food bank lines. Have you seen that yet? Oh, like hours and miles of traffic to get into food banks. Because people like it was instant. You're instantly losing your income and it takes a month to get unemployment or, you know, these stimulus checks. Hopefully that really helps people yeah. with their ability to go buy basic necessities. But oh my gosh, it was gut wrenching. I think um I can't even remember where it was. Somebody waited for ten hours to get into a food bank. Oh my God. That's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And it's gut wrenching to think that people are really, really struggling. I think a lot of us still live in a little bit of a bubble, but then we sit down and watch the real news and we see these healthcare workers that are just gut-wrenchingly sad because of something they dealt with, or, you know, we see those food bank lines or we see, and then it kind of smacks you in the face that this isn't a vacation. And as much as we're getting done and um, as much as the kids are working from home and we're trying to be teachers and moms and business owners and all of this other stuff, like there is real sadness and hurt and fear right now. And I think that sometimes, you know, we, we take things for granted that we're doing in our own time, in our own homes, with our own families. And we really need to be cognizant that there are people that are really hurting and really struggling. So I'm trying to be aware of that too. In my joy that I'm finding and my positives that I'm finding, I know that I'm still praying for all of those people that are not um, handling this as well as I am or my kids are. And, you know, so I'm, I'm definitely counting my blessings in that. I feel like it's make it's a little bit eye opening to see what's really important in life, right? Like what you really need to survive and what you really need to. Yeah. I feel like this whole process has like this whole span and everything has just, I feel like been so emotional. Like there's been highs and lows and it's like, just, I don't know, just things have like triggered so much emotion, which yeah. it's, it's hard to put into words, but it's just been interesting. Okay. Let's talk about, Talk about work. I know. Work that everybody this working. I think people have liked your videos. I think so too. People are creating amazing stuff. I'm really excited that 
people kind of took that to heart and have gone run with it. And I love seeing what people create. So keep sending them in. Even if you know, the video was three weeks ago, I still love seeing your pieces. Um, oh, fun. It's, it's nice to bring some of the outside inside, you know, cause I feel like quite a bit. So yeah, it was like a shock to my system. So I had to come home from Florida early, which was fine. And you know, in hindsight, it feels like it didn't even happen, but um, coming from, 85 degrees to coming back to it really wasn't bad when we got home but I was like I needed color and when we pulled up the driveway and I realized there was like forsythia and daffodils and green happening I was so happy and excited so I needed to get that inside to make me feel less sad about everything <laughs> no everybody came up with such cool stuff and I like seeing what people had in their yards Brandon, I know Richmond, some people yeah. had but yeah it's amazing when you actually go out and like are looking for things, how much right. you realize that is around you. Right. You're how like not, you know, yeah. breaking the leaves or doing something and you're like not focusing on anything else but chores. Like how many things. Yeah. yeah. And how many things we like walk past. Right. Just in our daily walk and you never think about, oh, that might be kind of cool to bring in. Yeah. yeah so that's my neighbors yard. Yeah, I know. It's but yeah, that was really fun. So yeah, what else has been going on with us? We're um, so behind. lots going on with obviously, you know, I don't know if anybody's wondered or not how we've been and how we're holding up and what's happening in the business world. But um obviously we had a lot of weddings that we've had to kind of shimmy around, about 15, I think, so far. Girls that are getting married in June are still trying to navigate, you know, what is going to be their best bet and what is going to be happening in the world at that point. So we're still praying for a lot of our brides to make right decisions. Um, and it's been stress. Like, so, you know, when all of this hit every small business round, I mean, nobody's immune to it. Everybody's heard small business, small business, small business, but it was really like a shock to the system because we had, you know, most small businesses sit down at the beginning of their year and they really figure out exactly how much money do we need um, to get through this year. And then a little bit to pay ourselves, to pay our employees, to cover everything we need to cover, but there's not, you know, we don't have a big stockpile. Most small businesses don't have a big, you know, most of us try to keep two to three months little savings, but beyond that, you know, there's nothing. And we, for a business like ours and like a lot of seasonal type businesses, we came into this um, sudden shutdown with not a lot backstocked because we came out of our very, very slow season. So that's kind of our, you know, where we, we piddle through and we just kind of spend time with our families and we get to the end of that. And then we're roaring into wedding season and we're ready to go and we're refreshed from our downtime and, you know, we're hitting it full speed. And with that full speed, you know, the income starts coming in for us and that, you know, helps us pay our bills and, and all of that. So it's this tricky little balance that we've developed over the course of our four years here that we stay afloat and we stay afloat really well. You know, we're not, we're not hurting, um, we're not going anywhere, but we definitely had to like rethink and re vision and plan and try to figure out what is going to, what our vision is for the next, um, five months, six months, year, three years. Like we totally had to, re-examine what Rosemary Rust is and what it is going to be and where we need to put our um, energy for this year. And I think it became really clear to Shay and I very quickly that having to shuffle 15 brides that were planning on, some of their weddings were already supposed to happen at this point, having to shuffle 15 brides from April, May, and now the beginning of June and possibly into later in June, into later in the year, our year is now filled with wonderful, beautiful brides. And we are really excited um, about that. It's going to be a long season for us once we get rolling again. A lot of late um, nights like the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of it will be a lot of late nights, but it, you know we're getting rest time now, and that's a great, beautiful thing. Um, so we really built our business, and Shay, jump in anytime. We really built our business on community relationships, friendships, um, what we what we value with our business is the connections that we do make with our customers, with our brides, 
and um, in the community. You know, we're involved in a lot of different areas of um, nonprofits and things that we support behind the scenes. And um, we, we love all of the stuff that we're able to do for that. And we want to continue that vision um, going forward from here. We are definitely going to be rearranging um, kind of what things look like for us. I, I know, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try and get through this and not cry. Um, we are letting go of our original shop. So 15 North Main Street. We're gonna be there through the end of June. Um, we're, we're purging, we're cleaning, we're beautifying, we're making it pretty again. Yeah. But it was time for us to say, um, we don't have the, the human means right. to keep that going right now. And with that being said, what I mean is with all of these weddings, and sometimes we're at four to five to even six weddings now because we're doubling up on Sundays, um, we really are not going to be able to put the energy. We need all of our people and all of our energy on wedding work and also in our, our space here, the rental space at Maine, which really kind of took off this year. And um, unfortunately, we just had to cancel a lot of things happening in here, but this is gonna be kind of where we're gonna continue to hold our classes and stuff like that and have this rental space available. So we need all of our human resources, Shay, myself, Jay, and then we have a couple of part-time um, people that are helping us out behind the scenes to really get things rolling this year. Um, so you wanna add anything to that, Shay? I feel like throughout the whole, I mean, just our trajectory of people and of being very relational humans, like the shop was always something I think both you and I have always desired because we do love people coming in. We love relationships. We love that aspect of it. And, and we, we love things. And we, we love, love things. things. We like staging. We like decorating. Clearly we're creative. I feel like that was just like a natural projection of like our business. And I feel like now both you and I are, you know, very, um, we believe in God. We believe, you know, we have this relationship. I feel like both you and I have been like, okay, for the past couple months, I would say half a year, we've just kind of been like, where are we, where is this path leading us? Like, where are we going? and checking in with God. I feel like we've both been praying, like, what's the next step? Where are we going? What's the vision? We need to kind of not rein it in, but see, you know, just checking in with that. So I feel like God through this whole thing has been like, okay, this is the time, you know, to let this go. And that's not a bad thing. Like that is, can be a good thing. You know, we have all these other opportunities to connect with people. And sometimes I feel like like it was a really hard, a hard decision for us to let go of the job, like very hard. And I think, he, I think God probably was for a while, like this is time, this is time. And we were like, no, no, because we were so emotionally attached to it. Like I know for myself, like I had two babies in that shop, not literally, but like it was a huge like piece of our story of my life, my family life. Like it just, I mean, yeah, my babies hang out, like hung out in there. Like it just holds so many memories with you sleeping, like all my, oh my gosh, so many things. I mean, we had such late nights there yep. in the beginning, like it was crazy. So it just is a physical place, but also like an emotional place. And so that was a really tough decision of what does this next phase of our business look like? And I feel as much as it is so emotional and like, oh, like sad a little bit. But I think I'm more sad, like, for myself. I don't know. Like, that, does that make sense? Yeah. I feel like I'm also very excited of, like, what the next phase looks like, where we can focus on, but still not lose the relationships that we've built along the way. And right. I know that's something that's really important to us. So we want to still be connected and plugged in wherever we can. But I know that I feel like it's a healthy next step for us because – I feel like it wasn't ever going to be what we wanted it to be because our right. focus couldn't be on it. And then right. we just need to be like, okay, this isn't making sense anymore. Right. Time right. to move on. But it's still gut wrenching. <laughs> right. like, you poured so much time and effort and 
you have, I feel like creative humans, you have so many ideas, right? When we're even packing up, I was thinking to myself like, oh, this could be this or that could be that. And it's like, okay, you gotta like, yes, not, yes. what's in front of you and not what's, you know. Right, rein it in. So it's so hard, yeah. So one of, one of the bummers of that whole thing was we were fully set up for our fourth birthday party. I know. We were ready to roll with our big, Probably the most depressing. I know with our big yeah. annual birthday party, we are going to have, cause we have like collected some really cool things and even going in there like this morning, we're like, Oh my gosh, like I love this. And I love this. Ugh, it's, it's fun. Wow. We're, our goal is to um, kind of have a sale in June if we're able to. That's going to be very, um, you know, we, Shay and I have said this whole time, like we are doing everything that we are supposed to be doing so we can get back to normal as quickly as possible. So we wear our face masks to the grocery store. We stay six feet away from each other um, when we do have to see each other. And we try to really be cognizant of the things that we're supposed to be doing as humans to get through this quickly so that we can be back up and running and in business, our rides can be back to normal. Um, I know it's going to be a long time and we're going to have a new normal, but so with that being said, we are not sure what May is going to look like. We are following um, the governor's requests of us because we are a non-essential business. I know there are some flower shops that are doing non-contact deliveries and that is um, awesome for them. But we decided at the beginning of this that we are a non-essential um, business and that we will kind of follow what we're supposed to be doing. We're gonna use this time to organize. So we're gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna hold off on um, what we're thinking for the month of May, and we all know what May holds is Mother's Day. So we're not sure what that's going to look like for us yet. We will keep you posted on that for sure. Um, if we are able, you know, if if things are working, then um, and things are starting to open back up, then we're going to make a decision and decide what we're going to do as far as if we're going to have people coming in to pick up or if we're going to do delivery only or if things are not up and running all the way yet and it's not healthy for us to be, the flowers you have to realize come from like five different places before they even get to us. So if things are not running as normal and smoothly as they should be by that point, we might just be getting some local stuff or it just might not be the big normal thing that we normally do. But we're gonna keep you posted on that and we're gonna keep you posted as far as going forward with what our, um, you know, our sales days do look like. We are planning on having our small business Saturday, which is in, um, you know, that Saturday after Thanksgiving. We're still planning on doing that every year. We're still planning on doing some pop-up shops. It's just not going to be our standard. And I know a lot of people that are watching this are probably like, you were never open anyway, which is kind of true because we really had to be open when we didn't have a huge amount of wedding work going on, which really is where, you know, that's, that's what we do. So we've really been battling between, do we focus on taking a couple more weddings those first weekends um, you know, of the month that our shop was normally open? Or do we you know, try to keep the shop and keep this going? But now that when 15 brides had to rearrange and all of those first weekends are now filled up, literally guys for the next year, like some brides have pushed back an entire year. So for us, it just doesn't make sense to try to do everything. You know, a lot of times we think that we can do everything. Um, and you realize very quickly that you can't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Two women um, together, we're like, we can do it all. Yeah. And our husbands are like, actually, you can't. We're like, yeah, we're pretty right. right. Yeah. We haven't. And then right. like, yeah. So, um, but we're definitely going to be continuing with our classes. We love to educate people, we love to teach people what's happening, what's going on, um, and how we create things. You know, we've done some online stuff, which has been super fun, but for people to come in and create with us, that's how we really spend a lot of time connecting with the community. It's one of our favorite pieces. So we are definitely not giving up on creating with you guys as soon as we can get some classes listed online again. We will, but we're gonna wait, obviously, until we know what that looks like going forward. Um, we're totally gonna to stay community-minded and really engaged in the things that we're passionate about that are around here. Um, and we're gonna keep supporting our local flower farmers. They are starting to grow some gorgeous things. So that's, I know, tulips and, you know. I feel like we're both like ready to, you know, get back to flowering. Yes. The thing, but I also feel like I, 
don't want to rush into something and not make right. the right the wrong right choice, right so it's absolutely hard it's it's a tricky spot to be in business wise personally you're like you have other other things to think about you know your right. family and all the the people around you it's it's hard so right it's not easy decisions for sure no and, and it is just emotional like i feel like it's just an emotional time so it's hard to make a a good decision when you have emotional ties to things too yeah. you know but yep yep so we're gonna keep you guys posted with everything that we're up to what's going on our clean out process um, our sale process we're definitely keeping a lot of stuff because we are gonna have our pop-up sales a couple of times a year we'll probably piggyback those on when we're you know when Main Street hubbub stuff is happening definitely small business Saturday for sure and then we'll figure out you know what next spring looks like we're gonna try to do an annual birthday party every year this year it'll be maybe a half birthday party I don't know um, we'll figure that out but we're gonna definitely keep everybody in the loop we're gonna do our what'd you say it's October oh well, that's fine we're a little busy then but we'll figure it out but um, maybe we'll do a quarter birthday party um, but we will have a lot of stuff going on so that we'll still be able to see everybody. We're going to be, um, um, you know, as, as soon as life is rolling again, we will be in Shrewsbury probably every day of the week for the next eight months. Yeah, you so, can honk as you go by. Yes, just give us a big honk. Working till Christmas. Yeah. So don't forget to, you know, we have r and on Main and as soon as we're up and rolling and people are ready to have birthday parties and baby showers and bridal showers and all that stuff again, we'll be ready to book again in here. We do have some stuff on the calendar for um, July and August and September, I believe. So we're hoping that those stay put and life is back to normal. Um, for people who have to rearrange things. Yeah. Like yeah. It's been a lot to shuffle, you know, uh, it's, it's a lot of like big moving pieces, especially for a bride having to shuffle all of those vendors around. And some of it is going really smooth for most of them. And I know others have struggled. We'd have two, we've had two that have had to cancel um, totally. So we're just praying for them that they're able to, you know, I think they're, they're still getting married. They're just not doing their what they've been planning for a year or two. So that kind of stinks, but um, you know, we're praying for everybody that's really having to make some decisions right now about what, what their plans look like. And so unknown too. So it's hard to be like, yeah, this is a good idea. And then yeah. like, you don't know what is going to happen. So it's yeah. really hard to, you don't know what the best choice, the right thing to do, we're, I guess for us, just kind of waiting to see like what's going to happen. Yeah. Yep. So, what our next steps are. So we'll keep you guys posted and just wanted to touch base. It's been a while since we've seen everybody um, other than my walking around my yard. What? So it's weird to see people like this. It is weird to see people like this. Next time we'll be cheersing something. I know. Next time we'll be like legitimately live. Just I know. to be live and be a part. I know. I know. All right. Love everybody out there. Love you, Shay Mac. And I will see you guys soon maybe we'll try and do this again next week a little quickie update on how things yeah, are going and maybe the governor will give us some idea of what's happening by then and if not we're just going to relax in it and we are all going to be fine we will get through this all right bye everybody bye love you love you